Hi, it's Anne here, and today's video is my second update for my Pan That Palette for 2023. Um, I missed last month's update, so this is sort of like two updates in one, but I'm just going to share numbers. Um, I did weigh everything last month, but I just didn't do a video, so I will share numbers from last month. So my last month numbers won't match up with the previous update because I, I hope that makes sense. Like if you're following these sequentially, the numbers will seem a little wonky um, because like I said, I did record numbers. I just didn't film that video. <laughs> so how I'm doing this, I have a face palette and an eyeshadow palette. The eyeshadow palette is comprised of singles that I'm working on. For the face palette, I'm going to do what I'm planning on doing for my project pan is a quarterly refresh. So basically pulling everything out and bringing new stuff in. So the face palette that I've been using, this, this is it. I've used it January, February, March, and we're gonna move on out and move on to another one. So let's start with, I guess, the eyeshadow palette. So I just have this uh, magnetic palette here with a bunch of single shades. It's going to look fairly different from when you saw it last. There's lots of pan, um, three new pans in these little guys right here. Um, these two had pans in them before. I do have another shade just hanging out here. I kind of pick a shade or two like this one and this one. There we are. And I'm just kind of throwing in a shade or two here and there, um, and then pulling those out again and picking new ones. So those are kind of rotated. Um, I'm not keeping track of those ones though, other than just kind of noting down that I've used it because I do kind of want to see which which shadows that I, I do get around to using this year and which ones I don't. Um, so I am weighing each one of these individually as well. So this little white shade, um, last month this was 1.3 grams it's now 1.28 grams that's the difference of 0 0.02 grams this little pink shade here that's got big pan when i hit pan it was like instant pan it was like ginormous like i hit pan just a couple days ago i was i've been using this one quite a bit this past week um but yeah that pan it was just like it kind of crumbled this is from one of those little color workshop quads so last month this was 100 or 100 1.29 grams it's now 1.22 grams that's a difference of 0 0.07 grams this light brown shade is from the nyx warm neutrals palette and hasn't moved a whole lot but it was 1.37 last month it's now 1.36 this month so that's a difference of 0 0.01 but the pan um I can't remember. No, I don't think anything had, <laughs> I don't think anything had pan in it. Um, but yeah, the pan's growing fairly quickly in these two. And this one is also from that NYX Warm Neutrals palette. And last month this was 1.31 grams and it's now 1.3 grams. So a difference of 0 0.01 grams. So everything's just small amounts, but I am using everything. Um, this guy has, like, it's close to being done. I'm kind of trying to, I hope, I'd like to get this one done, like, by end of May, at the latest end of June, like at the end of this next quarter. I'd really like to get this done. Um, it's not a whole lot, it's just I have to remember to use it, and it is definitely very a pink brown, like it's it's pink, like it's, and it's pretty warm, so it doesn't always go with every look. It's not something that I can kind of throw in every day, but there isn't a whole lot left, so I would like to try and finish that one out. Um, last month it was 1.14 grams, it's now 1.13 grams, that's the difference of 0 0.01 grams. Um, these next three here, I've used them, but not a whole lot. Actually, I'm kind of surprised the weight on this one. This is Chandelier from NYX. It hasn't moved a whole lot, but I did use it a few times. However, previous months, the weight changed quite a bit. So I'm not sure if the pre previous month weight changes were accurate. Um, but I am actually going to pull this one out. Um, I think I've, I've used this for this quarter. I do kind of want to pull this out. It's got a nice big pan in it. So I'm kind of happy with the progress on that one. I'm not intending to finish that one. Um, so again, that's NYX, uh, the shade's called Chandelier. And it was 2.85 last month, it's still 2.85. Um, but in total, I used 0 0.11 grams of that one. So we're just, we're gonna, let's pull it out now. Pulling that one out now. And the next one is the shade called Pewter and that's from the brand Purinata. And again, no weight change on this one, 3.65. Last month, it's still 3.65. Um, I use like the smallest amounts of these because I just like tap in my pencil brush and use it as like an outer crease uh, darkening shading color, which I'm actually not even using any of these today. Um, so yeah, no weight change on this one and no weight change on this one. This one is called Transylvania, or sorry, this one's called Morocco from NYX. And last month it was 2.95 grams, and it's still 2.9, or sorry, 96 grams, it's still 2.96 grams, so no weight change on that. 
Um, I am going to bring this one in. So I've kind of, like I said, I've pulled these two in just this past, maybe the past two weeks I've been using these two. Um, but I decided I think I'm going to incorporate this into this palette um, and keep track of it. So I've started, I've done the weight today, so we'll see what we're at next month. This is called Transylvania from NYX. And I'm hoping, I want to keep this in, in the thing until I hit pan. There's a really good dip in it. I feel like two months and I can hit pan. I would say one month, but I don't want to disappoint myself. <laughs> So if I can hit pan in two months, I'll pull this out. Again, I hope it doesn't take the whole quarter, but if it takes the whole quarter, I guess it's fine, um, like the next three months. But yeah, I wanna hit pan on this before I move it out. It's a very, very light shade. Like it's pink, um, but it's a very like white pink. So, so there it is on my finger there. You can see it's a very like icy, cool tone pink. So if you can see it on the back of my hand there, it's pretty light. Could make a good highlight too. So in total, when I use weight, words, in total, when I add up all the weights of the single shadows, so far, since the beginning of the year, I've used 0 0.5 grams. So I'm pretty happy about that. So 0 0.5 grams within a quarter on this guy, and I'm not really using it every day. Pretty happy about that. I do think I can finish up at least four shades in here. I think I can finish up this one and these three. Uh, this one, I think I can definitely finish up one or the other of these. I might have to start focusing on one over the other. So I definitely think I can at least finish out three. Um, if I can hit pan on these two would be really nice. And these, I'm just, they're just in there so that it's a good balance with other palettes. So I will put up like a little montage of photos from the start to the first update. If I have a picture from last month, I will put it up and then I'll put up the current picture of this month to show what that palette looks like. The face palette. So the face palette I've been working on this past quarter is the e.l.f. Uh, beautifully Bare Soft and Subtle Total Face Palette. <laughs> Got this in 2019. It was like a free add-on. It looks like it's barely been used. Um, so when you look at this, like I can't even see any difference in person and I'm sure on camera it's not looking I don't there we are it's not looking like anything like even if I put it on an angle like there's nothing and when I feel them like there's nothing and I've used it I feel like a decent amount um I don't mind this palette it's a great everyday palette I like I've been kind of wearing this like going into the office because it's soft and subtle um, so I feel like it's like non-offensive it's not too too intense so it's good for every day in person um, nice light colors so last month this was 99.14 grams it's now 98.99 grams so that's a difference of 0 0.15 grams in total over the past three months I've used 0 0.45 grams so again almost a half a gram on this palette um, but we're gonna roll it out so I'm not even gonna bother <laughs> putting side-by-side -side pictures on this because like there's gonna be no difference. I feel like the only shade I can kind of see it and I just think it's the texture of it is the highlight. But like I can't, yeah, like even when I do this, like sometimes you can feel the dip. No, there's no dip in any of these. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna have this palette for a really long time. I mean, it's got, it got my money's worth because I mean it was a add-on, like a gift with purchase with, I think it was a Shoppers Drug Mart order a long time ago. So I'm going to replace that with two palettes because neither one of these palettes is like, like I want the face palettes to have blush, bronzer, and highlight if I can. So the first palette is the Charlotte Tilbury uh, Film Star Bronze and Glow. So this has my bronzer and my highlight. This is special edition packaging. Oh, I don't have a sticker on the year on this. I want to say it's from 2019 or 2020 is that special packaging. Um, I got this in a Lucky Bag. So, and I've always wanted to try this. It's okay. I don't think I would purchase this like myself going forward, um, but it's nice to have this. They're very subtle, subtle, subtle shades. Do some swatching here on my hand. Very, very subtle, very, very light. So I think these will be fine to use in the next quarter, the next three months. So, so there's some swatches on my hand there. I am going on vacation in May, and I'm not going to take I'm not going to take any of this with me. Uh, I don't think the eyeshadow palette would hold up. <laughs> I think those shades would crumble, um, and I don't want to take like two different. I have like a small uh, Tarte Hamptons weekend palette, and that's like my tribal face palette. So that's what I'll be bringing with me on my trip. I think. Um, 
So yeah, there'll be a couple of weeks where I'm not using this at all. So that will impact the amount I get those, like get use out of those. Um, so I said, that's the highlighter and bronzer. So I am gonna include this palette as well as my face palette to work for the next quarter. This is the Benefit Cheek Leaders palette. I wish I got the other one that has, there's like one that had highlight, blush and bronzer. This one has basically sort of like two blushes and one highlight. Like this one in the middle is more of a highlight, but it's a pretty, it's more like a blush topper, I would say. Um, so I'll just do a swatch of this. The shades in this are California, Tickle, and Dandelion. I would say Dandelion's the one I've used the least, and it's kind of like the driest. It's even really hard to get a swatch out of it. But again, they're nice kind of light colors, which I think will be fine for the next little while. Um, I've kind of already mapped out <laughs> my face palettes for the rest of the year. So hopefully you can see those. Um, top is, that's Dandelion, Tickle, and California. California would be nice to sort of take me into the warmer months before I switch out to the next palette. Um, and like you can see Tickle, it's a highlight, but it's still kind of a, it's pretty deep. Um, so it's more of like a blush topper and then dandelion's pretty soft. So those are the face palettes that I'm gonna use for the next quarter. And then I just wanna quickly go over the palettes that I've been using the last two months, just to kind of share what I've been using. Um, I'm not gonna go into detail on these. I do mention them in my weekly shot my stash. I don't have any eyeshadow photos. <laughs> Life has been weird. Um, and I just didn't take any eye photos, like eyeshadow photos over the past month. I don't know if I will going forward. It's just, last year I liked doing those photos. It's just been difficult to get around to doing them this year. So it's interesting, like it's a lot of pink. We got a lot of pink going on. Uh, so the first palette that I was using, cause it was kind of a February Valentine's palette was the chocolate, Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons palette. I love this palette. This is like an everyday palette for me. If all my palettes disappeared and I only had this one left, I'd be fine with that. Um, I can wear this every day. Now, it doesn't scratch that itch when I wanna be like creative with eyeshadow, but for like every work day, like going to the office, this works really well for me. Um, I also played with this palette. This again was sort of like a February pick to me because the, the Natasha Dona palette's very like pinky, blushy, kind of just felt very Valentine's-like for me, so. Really, really pretty. I just feel like this palette does have a bit of redundancy. I mean, I think you can kind of see like the three, like this shade here, even though this one's a little bit darker and this shade are all kind of similar. Um, I feel like there could have been a bit more range on this one because um, there is 15 shadows in it, but it's still a really pretty palette. Again, a nice, this one's maybe a little more intense for every day, but I can still use it for every day. A nice quality, like, Using it compared to other palettes, I'm like, the quality of that one feels really nice. This is the palette I'm currently wearing. It's the Truly Madly Deeply palette. Um, I am wearing a glitter today, finally. <laughs> I'm wearing, well, I kind of started putting this one on and I was like, no, 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 I wanted to use this one. So one of my eyes has a little bit of this one, but they're almost the same. Like when you kind of sheer out the glitter, um, I ended up putting this on both eyes, but one eye has a combo of the two a little bit, a little bit. Um, they don't look a whole lot different on the eyes. So yeah, I could totally do without those glitters. I mean, I did the glitters for fun today, but eh, it's fine. <laughs> but I do like this palette. I like all the other shades. Um, I do like, like I talked about sort of the diversity of shades on that one. It's a really good, again, everyday kind of palette. This little e.l.f. quad in Rosewater, really like this. Again, a great, easy, everyday palette. I don't have to think too hard. Kind of like, like with work days, especially because I'm going back into the office a little bit more. I don't wanna to have to think too hard. And this is like, I'm not thinking too hard. Um, and then the other palette I've been using is this one. This is the uh, Profusion Pro Pigment Palette. There we go. Um, this is one. So last month or the last update I did, I talked about the Under My Skin Palette. That's one that I definitely feel like I could deconstruct and keep some of the shades and not all of them. This is another one like that. I don't feel like I necessarily need to keep all the shades in this, but I do have some favorite shades in this. and. I feel like this every time I wear this, it's like kind of look at it and be like, ah, eh. but then when I do an, a look with it, I'm like, oh, that's pretty. <laughs> so, but again, I kind of gravitate towards the same kinds of shades. Like if I were to deconstruct this, I would keep the white shades because they're all, at least one of the white shades. They're all really pretty. pretty. This one's a really nice topper. Um, I do like, 
sort of these, I would say these six right here. And that might be it. Maybe Nebula. I'd maybe pull that one out. But I don't use the gold. I don't use this. I don't really care for these. Like the quality of these ones are kind of like eh. Um, maybe I would keep Queen. I don't think I'd keep Devoted. I don't think I'd keep Bordeaux because I feel like these two look fairly similar on the eye. So yeah, I would keep maybe like two thirds of the palette. Um, so for keeping the whole thing just seems like it's a big large palette and again I feel like the colors like I'd rather integrate those shades with other palettes or like yeah I don't necessarily look at this and see cohesive looks in it other than like a brown look and a purple look and then I'm kind of done whereas I feel like if I broke it apart I would get more diversity in some looks with some of these shades or pair them up with some other things that might make them more interesting I don't know I've just I've never really felt in love with this palette but then I'm always surprised by the looks I get out of it and they look kind of, I'm like, oh, they, that looks pretty. And then I'm like, oh, I don't really want to get rid of it now <laughs> after I use it. But again, if I had to choose, like if I had to say, you got to get rid of, this past month, if someone said you have to take one palette out, you got to get rid, rid of one of those, that would be the one I would get rid of. Um, Cause I just like all the other palettes a little bit more. So that is my pan that palette update for this past well, like two months, I guess that covers. Uh, if you like this video, feel free to get a little thumbs up down below. And if you haven't already, I would love it if you subscribe to my channel here in Toronto, Canada. I hope you're doing well, and I'll see you sometime soon. Bye.